driving, but you can't see him because a black little doggy dog, t bows in the way. Oh, and here's Mama, and Big Mama's in the back. Just relaxing. Oh my gosh, and I have all the dogs at me. Anyway, we're headed to the Keys. It's gonna be a good weekend. We're gonna do a little offshore fishing, gonna dive, explore, have fun, and, and just let the dogs swim for once. Honey, does that sound good to you? Sounds good to me. Um, and we're currently an hour behind schedule, so you guys can't see the beautiful Seven Mile Bridge during sunset, but you can blame Rob because he forgot all the Everglades seasoning at the house, so we had to turn around and go get it. But we'll keep it posted, and I don't know what else. Well, good morning from Florida Keys. We uh, came down for the weekend to pick up Larry's boat. And, uh, today, we're probably gonna do a little bit of fishing. But most importantly, we're just gonna have a good time. Wanna show you guys a little bit of the salt life down here in the Florida Keys. We're in Summerlin, Summerlin Key, about 25 miles from Key West. Marlon and Tebow and Remy love this spot because they jump out and go swim in and can climb out of the water and they just have a blast. Sarah's still in bed sleeping, and uh, it's gonna be a great day. Beautiful weather. It's our first morning in the Keys. And yes, I slept in, I got my beauty sleep. And now we gotta run to the grocery store, and then we're on the boat, we're heading offshore, and hopefully we catch a lot of fish. Rob heard that the Dorado have been like off the wall, so uh, hopefully we have some luck with them. Say hey everybody. Hey, what's up? I'm reading YouTube comments right now. Actually, I don't know if y'all can see that, but <laughs> it's pretty funny. Forty-five bucks later, we're at. It. Go. Well, we have got the boat loaded up and we are headed out. This is one of our dearest, most dearest friends in the entire world, Larry's boat. Uncle Larry, Larry Frederick. And we're at his house down here in Summerlin. Uh, you want to talk about a great friend, he's a great friend. And he's up um, with his wife in Illinois right now. And she is in a very terrible state of life. Um, and Larry's there for her every step of the way. So. We wanted to come down, use the boat a little bit, and uh, have a good time. We're doing all this for Miss Miriam, and uh, we're thinking about you, and sorry for these rough, rough times. And, uh, we're gonna try to have a good time, enjoy the day. What do you think, honey? I think we're gonna catch a lot of fish. Well, seeing as we're getting this early uh, break at noon start, you know, <laughs> hopefully there's a good afternoon He's bite. He's being sarcastic. All right, we found some birds. That's always a good sign. We take these outriggers, slide them out like this. That's a rigged ballyhoo. Frigate bird right there. Well, we're gonna try to show you guys. We got a couple dolphin on here. We've been fishing for all of about two minutes. And we've had three bites. We got two fish on. So this is gonna be kind of chaotic, I think. But we'll try, we'll, we'll make it happen. Is yours getting somewhat close? I'm just gonna leave mine in the rod holder. We're just going to angle, just angle the boat so that we sort of cut her fish off. Okay, bring him right here, back up. All 
now. Go get the other. bigger. Reel them right to you. Reel them right to you. Just, just keep reeling. Reel. Keep reeling. Oh. Oh, watch it, watch it, watch it. Hold it up, hold it up. Step to your left. Right. Wait, 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 oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Right there, we got him. Good job. Oh yeah, baby, oh yeah. Good job. Shut this real quick. Awesome, now that's good job. Booyah! That's awesome. That's too nice, Dolphin. All right, so we're gonna try to get the baits back out and uh, see if we can't catch another one. Fishing for two minutes. We got two fish on the boat. That's how we roll. Okay, now straight this out. Let me get these. All right, so. We're out here trolling along, trying to find a big old dolphin, and uh, Sarah is not being much help right now. Let me show you what Sarah's up to. There she is. Ow. We like to call that baby tired. She's just out for the count, but don't worry. I'm still on the hunt, trying to find a big dolphin. Uh, see a few birds picking around here. Anytime, anytime you have birds working in the area, it's always a good idea. There's probably some fish in the area also. Nothing red hot so far. Caught a couple dolphin, but I think the best is still to come. Anytime you're out here trolling like this, you're always looking for structure, looking for something that should be floating on the surface, a weed line, which would be sargasm weed. Uh, sargasm, you know, is just a whole entire ecosystem all on its own. Uh, it's got shrimp and crabs and file fish and just so much light. Well, the dolphin love that. Dolphin. Oh, there's one right here. Honey, nice fish. Woo! Got him all. That worked good. Nice doll. Nice doll. All right. All right, y'all. Just talking and we got him on. Slow down, honey. Here, come get this one. Huh? You gotta wake up? Well, grab a camera then. There we go. Let's get off. Thank you, my feet up there. a bad afternoon. Went out at lunchtime, caught a few dolphin. I think we caught four. Pulled off about three others. Called it an early day. We're going to go back, fillet the fish, clean the boat, and then we're going to go down to Key West for the sunset celebration. Not a bad Saturday.
Hey. Hey. Y'all wanna go swimming? <laughs> I just caught. I bet he'd make good bait, but we're gonna let him go. Was that a land crab? Uh, no, he, he, they, these are rock crabs, and they have incredible pressure with their claws. They can like crack open anything. Ah! He just screamed like a little girl, folks. <laughs> He just grabbed hold of me. Just pinched the snot out of my finger. Wow, Wimmers. Wow, Peebers. Here, just tell him right there. I just let him go. Come here, Randy Gamers. Come on. <laughs> the dogs love jumping in. Come on, Mark. Go up there. I got hey. a three. One. Two, three, go in! Get him, doggies! Get him! Come on! Come on! Get him, Come on, Rim! Go get him! <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all, this is what we were doing down in the Keys, just having a good time. I sure wish all y'all were down here with us. Nice side of mahi mahi. Now you can just pull this skin off, but it leaves a little bit of the a little bit of the connective tissue on the meat, and it causes it to be a lot tougher. But this way it comes out nice. And all you got to do, look at your little bloodline. Just like that. Those seagulls are annoying. No, they're not. But it makes it reminds me of whenever I was a kid. Whenever I was a kid, we'd always stay at Fiesta Key down near Layton, and I, my mom loved the the, the seagulls. <laughs> There's so many things that make life. Great. And what's that over there? We'll just make these into dolphin fingers, fry them up. You want some fish? Back in the <laughs> That's called Keys Cash. We'll <laughs> trade for anything, including dolphin, snapper, <laughs> hogfish, grouper, <laughs> Stone and the occasional crab. stone crab or mutton snapper. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, thanks dude. We're gonna get cooked. Alright, I'm gonna show y'all like the world's easiest yet most delicious recipe ever just to knock it out of the park. Remy, Marlon, and Tebow, we're doing a YouTube video. Okay? Remy, you're not allowed to eat any of the fish until I tell you. We've gotta make a really I mean, how many times have you gone on vacation or done something where the last thing you really want to do is cook a big dinner? Well, that's kind of where we are right now. But 
we just got all that fresh dolphin. There's no way I'm not gonna cook it. So I got some zucchini, sweet pepper, squash. Okay. Now all we've gotta do is get some Everglades. I'm telling you guys, I use a lot of the different spices from Everglades, but this is, it's like the all around best seasoning in the world. What are you looking for, honey? This, olive oil. Just drizzle some olive oil, good extra virgin olive oil, and then uh, season it up. Good. And we're just gonna roll this around. Just for a little fall in love. You want this to really be seasoned nicely, coated with that oil. That'll work. Now, again, I'm telling y'all, this is the type of dish you're gonna cook either when you're hungry or when you're in a rush because it's super easy and it's super fast. Does he have propane? Yeah, there's propane in there. So we've got that. Now, we're gonna take our four nice top loins right there. And I'm, I brought this. It's Everglades Rub. Normally, I use the rub I normally use the rub on like pork or steak or ribs, but it's amazing on fish as well. I don't want to overdo it because this fish is so fresh, so light, mild, but this rub has this sweet mesquite, just smoky, amazing flavor to it. It'll be awesome on this fish. Smells so good. And I'm gonna take some olive oil. Put it right on there, just like that. What does that do? This is gonna keep it from sticking when it hits the grill. I really wanna oil this up nicely. It's gonna get the season to just, it'll get that Everglades rub just to soak into the fish and that oil will keep it from sticking to the grill. Oh yeah, good stuff right there. That's gonna be good. Okay, this is fresh mint. And if you're ever cooking anything that you want to have a real islandy flair to, add mint to it. Mint is amazing. It's a great herb, and it goes with so much more than just lamb. This cantaloupe? This is that fresh cantaloupe from earlier today. Put that fresh cantaloupe right there. This is all of our strawberries and mint. Put that right there. And then we'll just throw this around. Free jumper. I mean, nothing else needed. That's just mint, cantaloupe, and strawberry. So good. Super important when you are grilling fish. You gotta have your really, really, really oil up your grill. That'll make a big difference. Okay, good. Come on with our fish. Larry, we wish you were here, man.
You only want to flip this one time too? Oh yeah. Look at all that flavor. That's going to be some good stuff. Okay. Robert's on the phone with Larry. Our buddy who owns this place. So yeah, he's, he's on the phone. I'm going to quick flip everything for him. Yeah, no, he's he's only about he's only about a about a seven pounder, but he's on the drill right now. We got several others, but um, he is he is on the drill. I do We'll be soon. There's Sarah, y'all. Playing chef. Oh, yeah. Chef Sarah. Man, look how good this looks, honey boy. Oh, it's hot. Woo! And it's like 90 degrees out, if you guys didn't know that. Don't have spoons? Use your hands. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this amazing day, this wonderful food and all these great times. Lord, I pray that you just forgive us of all of our sins and nourish this food to our body. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, honey, what do you think? Mm. How do you like that smoky flavor from the Everglades mm -hmm. rub? I like the smoky flavor, but then you have the fruit and it has like the smoky mesquite flavor and then all of a sudden the fruit comes in and just like pops in your mouth it's totally two two totally different flavors but it it blends real nicely mm. i never ever would have put fruit on fish ever as crap he knows mm. Very good. And I caught it. Did I tell you guys that? No, we didn't catch that. Oh. I did catch this fish. Oh, and hey, I caught this fish. <laughs> Remy is waiting for the word. Watch this. Go ahead, Rivers. Go ahead, Mamar. Go get it. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Okay. Y'all swim for a little bit, then we're going to go home, okay? Y'all have fun. It's awesome having dogs that just like to swim and have a good time. So, packing up, ready to go. Hey, Mar. Say so we're heading back to Jupiter, everybody. What do you think, Graham? Hey, baby, dimmer. Hey, Tebow. All right, y'all. Well, we got the truck loaded up. The dogs are all dried off. The house is clean. And I don't know what Sarah's doing. I guess she's just running around looking for something. But ready to go. We got about four and a half hours to drive back to Jupiter. And then we'll be home. Oh, blue moon. So let us know what you think of the video. You know, it's a little bit longer and just shows a whole weekend for us, but uh, let us know what you think. All right, Mark? So, oh, right here, we're on the, uh, this is the Bahia Honda Bridge, and several years ago, they replaced all these bridges. This is the new bridge, that's the old bridge. And the old bridge wasn't set side by side, it was one lane on top of the other lane. Pretty cool stuff. Down here in the Florida Keys, the next bridge we come to will be the seven mile bridge. Seven miles long. What I think is pretty cool is that on one side, it's the Atlantic Ocean, and then on the other side, it's the Gulf of Mexico. So the road we're on that, that heads right through the middle of the Keys separates the Gulf of Mexico 
in the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. Fun fact. And this uh, this road is called Overseas Highway. Overseas Highway, and it's basically and there's a cop up here. So yeah, watch out. it's basically just a a road that's a bunch of bridges going from key to key to key to key. Oh, thank you for the kiss. Baby. So this is the Long Key Bridge. This is what's known as the Three Mile Bridge. And whenever I was a kid... Three Mile Bridge? Yeah, Three Mile Bridge. Whenever I was a kid, we dove this area, like, all the time. We stayed at the Fiesta Key up here, and we'd run in our 20-foot sea craft, and we would dive all this. I mean, there's none of this I have not swam. So it's very reminiscent every single time I drive across the Three Mile Bridge or the Long Key Bridge, I always remember all the amazing times. I mean, I could, that channel right there, whoo, boy, a lot of lobster. We'll be back. We'll get them later on in the year when season comes. If you're looking for a nice marina where you can get a good boat, Bud Mary's, in Island Murata, right next to the Tiki Bar. A lot of cool stuff. Or you can come to Chica Lodge, which is like one of the nicest resorts I've ever been to in my life. That's about all we have for you, you guys. This has been a fun trip, and uh, we've got about two and a half, three hours till we get to the house. But um, we're pretty much done here. It was a lot of fun. But until the next video, we're out. Be sure to subscribe and if you want, check out any of these other videos and uh, just stay in touch. Let us know what you think. Be sure to like the video. That means a lot. Leave a comment and share it with your friends. What do you think, Debo? Is that cool? He's pretty much mute on this subject.